So before we get started here, everybody, um, quick question again. Uh, what's the first thing we do with every word problem? Oh, it's popping out in the corner too. That's funny. Right, read the question. First step, read the question. This is what we're focusing on right here. Right here. How many unsold houses will be left? Right there. So with that said, everybody, again, we haven't read the entire question yet. We have not read the entire question or the entire problem. We just fixated on the question sentence. This is a very wise thing to do for the simple reason being, I bet you, even without knowing what's going on, you know what you're looking for right here. It says clearly, we're looking for how many, an amount of unsold houses. How many of those are left? So everybody, is it fair to say that before we read the actual problem, we're looking for how many unsold houses are left? Right? It's not rocket science. It's not crazy, crazy, crazy. And, and I'm being very serious. I'm not here to pander. I'm not here to patronize anybody. When I say that it is very easy, the easiest step in a word problem is identifying what you're being asked to figure out. It is truly the easiest part of the problem. Because even if the question sentence doesn't tell you the math that you're going to do, like even if it doesn't reveal that it's a rate or this type of problem or that type of problem, it'll always tell you what you need to find. How you get it done, we'll figure that out. But at least you know what you're looking for. So how many unsold houses will be left? So blank unsold houses left. Mass bad party people. Hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept, from adding and subtracting decimals to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible and we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. Now, here's what you're gonna do next. Step two is gonna be, let's go ahead and sort through the information. Let's see what we got going on. But remember, we always wanna keep the goal of the problem in mind. Again, a big mistake that a lot of people make is they keep working through a problem, forgetting what they're looking for, and they end up having a bad time. So remember, while we go through this, we're just looking for anything that has to do with unsold houses. That's all we care about. Here we go. So it says 100 houses were just recently built in a neighborhood. Everybody, does that matter yet in terms of talking about unsold houses? Right, not quite yet. You know, I see that, yeah, we're talking about houses, right? I definitely see that. But so far, am I able to quantify or actually uh, comprehend if I need that right now? No. So it's okay to read past that. For right now, it's okay to read past that because you're saying, hey, look, okay, some houses got built. Sure. You keep reading and you see a real estate company has already sold 20 of the houses. Okay. Guess what, everybody? If you sell some houses, what can you say about the ones that weren't sold? That's part of our answer, right? That's part of our answer. We're looking for unsold houses. If you have 100 houses, you sell 20. Okay, at this point in the problem, it looks like we take 20 of those away. The ones that are left are not sold, right? I think we can agree on that. And I did go with a fairly straightforward question to begin with. 
but we're going to kick it up a notch in a couple of moments. I need to show you how this works. So now that we know that this is important, 100 houses were just recently built. We can say that 100 houses built. Then we see here it says, hey, sold 20 of the houses. So 20 were sold. Okay, everybody, quick question. Um, what am I supposed to do to figure out how many houses are left so far? Right, we just subtract. I think intuitively, I think we can understand that if we're looking for the houses that are left, we have 100, you sell 20, you take away that 20, and it looks like we have how many left, everybody? Help me out. Right, we have 80 houses remaining. Um, how many people have been trapped in terms of, okay, uh, I got 80 houses left and I see 80 right there. That's the answer. How many people make premature decisions when it comes to word problems? Happens all the time, right? Happens all the time. But you have got to make sure that you've sorted through all of your information and combed through everything nice and slowly and confidently. We're not done yet. The answer is not 80. We have to understand that there's more to this question here. Let's keep it real, my math party people. I know that watching these ASVAB videos on YouTube is great, but what if you could join me live for a free class once a week? I do have free classes live once a week for two hours a piece for ASVAB math, so why not join me? Click the link right here, that way you can join me, raise your score for free, and keep kicking butt like you're doing right now. Let's get back to the action, but I hope to see you in class soon. Click there and let's get started. Right here it says, they plan to sell half of the remaining houses. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and highlight that right here. Plan to sell half of the remaining houses. So this is what remains. This is the remaining houses. So everybody, what, what's another way to say half? Like, how do you put that in math terms? All right, divide, but give me a specific number. Divide by what, five? Come on, help me out, I'm lazy. Right, we had to divide by two, right? We had to divide by two. So what we're going to say here is, again, if we plan to sell half of the remaining houses, what that means is, well, 80 divided by two equals what, everybody? Right, that's going to be 40. Because, again, this represents half being sold. So 40 unsold houses left right there and so now we can be assured that we have completed the problem because now that we've understood the question we remember we, we were saying it all day the entire way we want to know how many houses are left we almost ignored the 100 because it's saying okay well they built 100 but they didn't talk about the number of houses sold or unsold so i didn't care about that it was only until they gave us a clue saying hey we sold 20 of the houses and of the ones that are left, we're going to go ahead and sell half of them. And that's how we told the story. Notice this wasn't a formula. This was simply reading the story and making a plan that fits the narrative of the story. <laughs> oh, this Halloween tripping. Yes, we are. But, right, it's very straightforward reasoning here that we have to go through. And these are a lot of the problems that you're going to experience on the ASVAB. A lot of them are percents, rates proportions, a lot of other things, but you're going to have quite a bit of problems that are literally just you needing to figure things out. And in this case, the answer is 40. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works but you're gonna get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.